Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about in details the principle of nano drop instrumentation. What are the ideal ratios of 260 by 280 for RNA and DNA concentration measurements? What is the ideal 260 by 230 ratio for DNA and RNA concentration measurement? What is the absorption maxima for RNA and the DNA? And I'll also show you some real world examples of concentration measurement. First, let's talk about what is the principle of nano drop instrumentation. The principle of nano drop instrumentation is based on the Beer Lambert law. So, the Beer Lambert law states that observance is equal to epsilon times concentration times path length. So, what does it mean? It means that absorbance is directly proportional to the concentration. Okay, absorbance is directly proportional to the concentration. That means that the higher the absorbance, the higher will be the concentration. Okay, so nucleic acids, although they absorb many wavelengths, but they have a peak absorbance of UV light at 260 nanometers. Nucleic acids, RNA and DNA, they have a peak absorbance of UV light at 260 nanometers. Therefore, the amount of light that is observed in this region can be used to determine the concentration of RNA or DNA in a solution by applying the Beer-Lambert law. However, the Beer-Lambert law equation is linear only for the absorbances that are between 0.1 and 1 which means that only the concentration um, 10 nanogram per microliter to 3700 nanogram per microliter can be measured using the nano drop instrumentation. Okay, so now moving further, what are the ideal ratios 260 by 280 and 260 by 230 ratios for DNA and RNA concentration measurement? The ideal 260 by 280 ratio for uh, the DNA for pure DNA is approximately 1.8. Okay, ideal 260 by 280 ratio for pure DNA is approximately 1.8, whereas the ratio of approximately 2 is generally accepted as pure for RNA. Okay, for DNA it is approximately 1.8, 260 by 280 ratio for RNA it is approximately 2, um, uh, 260 by 280 ratio. While talking about 260 by 230 ratio, so basically sample within uh, 260 by 230 ratios, samples with sorry 260 by 230 ratios below 1.8. Okay, if the 260 by 230 ratio is below 1.8, that means that those samples they are considered to have significant amounts of contaminants that will interfere with the downstream applications. So in a pure sample. Uh, the 260 by 230 ratio should be close to 2, okay? So it should be bit more than 1.8 and up to 2, around 2, okay? So this is the ideal 260 by 230 ratio from 1.8 to 2, okay? So now moving further, what are the absorption maxima for DNA, RNA, and proteins? For the DNA and RNA, for the nucleic acids, they absorb UV light, the absorption maxima is at 260 nanometers, okay, for the DNA and RNA. So if you look at here, this is the wavelength, this is 260 nanometers. And so this is the peak, the peak of peak is peak for the DNA and RNA is at 260 nanometers. Whereas the, uh, the proteins, they absorb UV light at 280 nanometers, that means that they have the absorption maxima at 280 80 nanometers, okay, for the proteins, proteins absorb UV light at 280 nanometers. Uh, finally, the salts, as uh, many organic compounds, they have very strong ab absorbance at around 225 or 230 nanometers. Uh, this kind of salts include phenol, triazole, and cryotropic salts. And as well as some peptides, uh, peptide bonds in the proteins, they absorb light between 200 and 230 nanometers. So basically, uh, they at 230 nanometers, many organic compounds uh, such as phenol, triazole, and cryotropic salts, they have uh, strong absorbance, okay? So this is the absorption maxima for the salts.
okay? So 230 nanometer is for the salts, 260 is for DNA and RNA, and 280 is for um, our protein samples, okay? For the proteins. Uh, so what are some real world examples? So based on this, basically, so when we make the ratio, for example, 260 by 280 ratio, okay? So if it is uh, around 1.82, that means that we have pure RNA and DNA, as I explained earlier. Uh, so if it is less than that indicates uh, some uh, contamination. So let's let's talk about some real world examples. Okay, first example is this. If you look at this uh, this graph here, uh, this is a very nice graph. You can see that at 260 nanometers, the peak is here at 260 nanometers, and here uh, so has shown that the, 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 the concentration measure is RNA, okay? So that means that this is, uh, if you let's also look at the 260 by 280 ratios, 260 by 280 ratio is around two, which is very good. And also 260 by 230 ratio is around 1.97, that is also good. So this means that uh, the absorbance spectrum of the RNA sample below this one indicates a very high purity because the, the ratio 260 by 280 and 260 by 230 are almost ideal. And also the concentration, the concentration is 91. This is also within the range of our nano drop instrumentation. Okay, so let's also take another example. So if you look at this example here, the, the graph is not perfect. The curve, the spectrum is not perfect. As you can see that although 260 by 280 ratio is around 2, which is good, but 260 by 230 ratio is below 1.8, clearly indicating some sorts of contamination. So what kind of contaminations? I already explained. Uh, so the RNA sample below, it has this, this sample has a, a 260 by 280 ratio, good, which means that there are no protein contaminants, okay? Because 280 uh, refers to protein, right? So uh, the 260 by 280 ratio is around 2, which means there are no protein contaminants. However, 260 by 230 ratio is 1.29, which is slightly lower uh, than 2 or 1.8, indicating some sort of organic contaminants present, present in the sample. Okay, some organic compounds present in the sample, right? So that's why this uh, 260 by this 260, we have peak here, but the problem is with 260 by 230. So this sample is contaminated with organic compounds, uh, trisols, or other organic compounds. Let's also take a talk about another example. Uh, here you can see that uh, this is a, the 260 by 280 ratio is also below 1.8 and 260 by 230 ratio is also uh, below 1.8. Uh, although the concentration is within the range of nanodrop instrumentation, clearly this is a very, very bad sample and this cannot be used for downstream applications because it has very low uh, 260 by 280 ratio as well as it also has very low 260 by 230 ratios. Uh, that means that uh, the, if you also see the peak of this sample, okay, the peak should be because here we are measuring RNA, so the peaks should be here, um, but you can see that the peak is at around 270 so nanometers and the curve is typical of high concentration of phenol yes uh, in in the sample as a result of triazole isolation protocols with poor removal of phenol uh, during the organic phase separations because this sample is of very very low quality this sample should be uh, uh, re-isolated this cannot be used for the downstream applications thank you